Hello everyone, welcome to another Router Gods video. My name is Humphrey Chung and in this video I'll show you how to save your configuration and your settings in GNS3. So a lot of times we're doing labs and uh, you could have a nice let's say 8 router set up and you've done all your configs and uh, you don't want to lose your work. So it's a kind of a pain in the butt to keep typing all that stuff over and over again. Yes, I know in uh, your beginning stages you want to type everything over and over just to, so you can remember everything but after a while it gets to be a bit tedious so here we've got GNS3 open we've got a router up and running and let's do some basic configuration let's uh, go in hostname router a and uh, no IP domain lookup all right okay I won't bore you with that so we've got a basic configuration and what you want to do is you want to do a write mem and what does write mem do it saves everything to the startup so it's basically just the same as copy run start alright so you have a save startup configuration well you're, you're definitely not done yet because even if you close out GNS3 right now uh, you're still gonna lose everything okay so you have uh, two parts to saving your settings within GNS3 the first part is saving the basic layout which includes your routers and the links between them and the naming scheme so to do that it's pretty easy we go up to file up here save as and I'm gonna save it uh, let's pick a nice folder there GNS3 and I'm gonna call it test lab 1 notice the .NET file ending right there so we'll save that Okay, and uh, before we go on, I'm going to go to my GNS3 folder, and let's take a look at that file we just saved. All right, GNS3 testlab1.net, and uh, yeah, don't mind my uh, my very messy desktop. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Oh, I'm going to expand that out. Go back to GNS3. Okay, so that's one part of everything we save our .NET file next we're going to go up here into our toolbar you can see we have uh, an option just to the left of the console window there the console uh, icon extract and import all startup configs okay well, we'll click on that and we want to extract to a directory notice we have import from a directory that's what we'll use when we want to recover everything so extract to a directory, we'll click OK. We'll pick a folder, and just for simplicity's sake, I will pick GNS3. Click OK. And it's doing something, so we'll go to GNS3. And you can notice we've got a r0.cfg. I can right-click this. Let's see, I'm going to open up uh, with my Notepad++ here. Uh, no. All right, so it's basically, it's the config. If we scroll down a little bit, we've got our fast Ethernet interfaces. And somewhere in here, I should have no IP domain lookup. Okay, there it is. Hostname, router A. Okay, so that's a basic config in text format. So that's pretty good. All right, so the moment of truth. We're going to exit out of GNS3, shut it down, and uh, see if we can recover this. So... Typical, what I teach in our meetups is always shut down GNS3 by clicking the red stop button, make it a clean stop, then close it out. Okay, what's nice about this .NET file is you can double click it and it's associated with GNS3. I can double click it. It's going to open everything up. All right, there's my router. Now we go back to this uh, wonderful icon. I guess it's a left pointing arrow. Click on that. So before you clicked on the extract to directory, what do you think we click on now? Well, you guessed it. It's importing from a directory. Click OK. Scroll down a little bit. GNS3. Click OK. Cross our fingers. OK, we'll start up the router. Click on the play button there. on the console window it seems to be starting up and 
we're almost there. Okay, hit enter to get started. And let's see if this worked. All right, so, well, we've got router A there, so that looks good. Let's do enable show run. And somewhere in there, I should have a no IP domain lookup. And there it is. Okay, so this video was a pretty easy demonstration of how you can save and recover your settings and configurations within GNS3. Thanks a lot.